The search for answers continues tonight following last night's fatal ambulance fire, Kailua. The ambulance operated by the city of Honolulu to burst into flames. The ball of fire left a 91-year-old patient dead and a paramedic fighting for his life. KITV Force Kristen Concilio spoke with city officials today who have a long list of questions to answer. Kristen. Well, Rick and Mika, tonight city officials are obviously still in disbelief, shock, and questioning what went wrong. What started out as a routine call ended in tragedy last night as an elderly patient was being transported to the hospital. Paramedics weren't able to get the man out of the ambulance as it was quickly engulfed in flames, pulling into Adventist Health Castle. A 36-year-old paramedic on board was severely burned. Described as a family man, he's still in critical condition at the Straub Medical Center. They go to emergencies, they take care of people in life-threatening situations, but when we as a team or one of the members of our department is the patient, it just, it's just that much harder. The EMT who was driving the unit tried to open the back doors, but the fire was too intense. He was uninjured. Honolulu Emergency Services Department Director Dr. Jim Ireland says an investigation with city, state and federal agencies is underway. And everything's on the table, including whether or not oxygen tanks and other common medical equipment somehow triggered the blast. We use oxygen every day. Um, on many, many calls, so probably a few dozen times a day. A, a fire like this is extremely rare. Cumulatively, we have hundreds of years of experience in EMS with all of us put together. Um, none of us have ever seen anything like this. A Honolulu respiratory therapist explained how an accident could happen. For instance, if a defibrillator used to send an electric pulse or shock to the heart creates enough heat while the oxygen is running. If the regulator is on and the oxygen is flowing and there is a fire, then the oxygen combined with the fire will cause an explosion. No conclusive word that this is what happened in this case. EMS has not said what equipment, if any, was being used. The Honolulu Fire Department is leading the investigation along with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. But for now, EMS won't be making any operational changes unless the investigation finds there's a need to do so. And another private ambu ambulance provider, American Medical Response, is currently covering the windward side to ensure there's no disruption in coverage. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News. Thank you, Kristen. New tonight, the Hawaii Firefighter Association is now asking firemen to stop getting into ambulances. That's according to a letter sent today to the Honolulu Fire Chief Sheldon Cowell. The association says firefighters usually join paramedics in the ambulance while transporting a patient to the hospital. This time, there was no firefighter on board, but the association is asking they stop doing so until the cause of the explosion is found. KITV4 reached out to HFD for comment, but we have not yet heard back.